Hi everyone, it's Adogs. And uh, today, so because I had no ways of actually getting any content for you know gameplay videos and stuff, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So, uh, what I'm gonna do for all six classes, I'm gonna have a look to see what changes um, in set two for the five classes, and you know what the the main cards you'll be looking to pick up in set two. So um, I've compiled a couple of lists. Uh, for each class, uh, so for this class today it's just forest crafts, but we have quite a few lists to look at. And then once we have a look at the, you know, the deck list, um, we'll just go over some of the cards that you probably should pick up to uh, fix up your deck for set 2. So um, this is the first list, and looking at forest crafts overall, um, it doesn't seem to have too much of an upgrade. So the one big card I can see is the Crystal Lily, uh, that's the main uh, big one, and then some of the evolved forms. And then just looking at the next list, so if we have a look at the next one, um, we also see that we have the Crystal Lily uh, again here, but then that's the only big change again. Oh, sorry, and the Crystal, um, I can't remember the other one, but Crystal Eve or something. Oh no, that's the Hogan that makes, but anyway, um, that's kind of like the other big change. This is the Legendary, I believe, for Forest Craft, um, but aside from that, looking at everything else, it still seems to be pretty much the same. You have a couple of, like, um, different cards from set two here and there, but they're the generic, so I won't really go into that. Um, but yeah, we do have this one here as well. Uh, now looking into another list uh, we have this one here so from what I can see fairly standard again we do see that crystal lily and the legendary again too uh, so by the looks of things um, it still has a control aspect that um, Frostcraft had but you know still um, having a little bit of the token spam because token spam seems to you know the be the way to go um, you know, to get to your Rose Queen and stuff like that. So that's the next build. Let's have a look at another one. This one's very blurry, but again, we can see the Crystal Lily here again. Game with two of the Evolvers as well. Everything else uh, seems to be relatively the same um, from set one. So, yep, that's a nice looking list. Next, we do have this one here. So, looking again, um, pretty, pretty standard. So we have the Crystal Lily here, you know, she's hiding a little bit. And then we just have all, like, just like the normal, normal stuff from set one that we already expect. Um, and then, yeah, the two Crystal Lily in the, uh, Evolved, um, deck. Next, we do have another list. This is the same list, but, um, there's a list that topped again, so... Um, I just want to show it again. So again, it's exactly the same list as the one we've seen before. Again, running the Crystal Lily and then the other uh, Legendary. And everything else again is the same. Uh, going into another list. Uh, we do see, again, the Crystal Lily. We do see the Legendary. Um, we do have a couple of, uh, you know, generics in here as well. A um, couple other interesting cards from set two. Uh, but aside from that, you know, majority from set one again because you know that's kind of the base. And you know, I mean, set two, we still don't exactly have a big pile. But um, it's interesting to see that Cresselia and Lazarus are kind of like the main, the main big things that have uh, kind of changed in the deck. So again, Cresselia and the Legendary. Um, and then looking in the Evolved deck, we've got two of the Evolved, and then one um, of the Legendary. We've got, yeah, the um, Bell Ringers, you know, Bell Ringers are really good. You know, early wards and stuff as well. Couple, another card from Set 2 as well. And then, I think for our last list... Um, okay, so this one's a little bit different. So we have a couple more generics. Um, a couple other cards from set two, but again, still the Crystalia Lily. Uh, and the general consensus seems to be that Crystalia Lily is run at three in the deck. 
Now, we've talked about Cressilia Lee um, a lot. Let's actually see what she does. Cressilia Lee. So, uh, her base ability is uh, she's evolved to. So you evolve this card, but at Fanfare you can look at the top two cards of your deck and you may reveal a Crystallia follower or a Fairy follower from among them and to your hand and put the rest of them on the deck in the order. So this is really strong for the fact it's a two drop, let us dig for our deck a little bit more and actually add cards to our hand. So by doing something like that, we can kind of, um, you know, get the Fairy followers you want, you know, help boost our tokens and get the other Crystallia cards and uh, just kind of build a bit more of a healthy hand. So that's, that's actually quite good. Uh, the you know, Evolve 2 costs us a little bit, but uh, when we look at the Evolve form, it's like you can choose an enemy follower, each player puts on the bottom of the deck, and then tokens put on the bottom of the deck and remove from the game. So this is really strong. Again, it is a 2 cost, but um, personally I feel like it's a much stronger um, Rose Gardener, because again, you, you play the Cressilia Lily, potentially find a Cressilia Fairy follow so you plus one in your hand on playing it and then you have a bit of, bit of like better control. It's actually really nice. Now looking at the legendary, so it's Cressilia Tilla, Tia, sorry. So she's also a two drops, so that's nice as well. Um, so it's Evolve 1, you get Evolve Up, but then Fair Fair Combo 3, you can put a Cressilia Eve into the field. Uh, so I'll quickly show you what Cressilia, Cressilia Eve is. So Cressilia Eve is a 4-4 token, uh, but it does pay 4 to play it. So it is quite uh, big, but if you need a body on board for a, like 4 cost for some reason, because maybe a little bit lower um, on... maybe a little bit lower like on bodies and stuff like that, this is definitely very nice. But then the Evolve form, um, you can choose one of your Crystallia Eve and it's plus one plus one and gains Rush. So it's a good little combination combo you can do. If you have the resources for it, you know, you can evolve your Crystallia Tia, you know, for one, to bring out that token, which is a 4 4, and to make it a 5 5 and it gains Rush. So essentially, you will have you know, your Evolve for Light, it's 2 2, of course, and then that. But you can use, you know, Tia to crash into other cards and stuff like that as well. Um, and then, you know, you have that big 5 5, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much like kind of like the, the big main changes to Forest Craft and set 2. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, it, you know, gives you some insight, you know, um, and just give me an idea what, you know, the cards you actually want to pick up for set 2 for Forest Craft. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like while you're down there, one up subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I upload another video, you will be notified. Hey, dogs out. See ya.